Let's get started on your review notes for X and Y intercepts of linear equations and equations of vertical and horizontal lines. So first let's go over equations of vertical and horizontal lines. Every point on a vertical line contains the same X value. Therefore, the equation for vertical lines is X equals a constant number. So as you can see, there's this vertical line graphed in red on this coordinate plane here. It's not a function because it's a vertical line. But the equation of this line, well, where does it cross my x-axis? It crosses my x-axis at negative 2. Therefore, the equation of this line is x equals negative 2. Every single point on this line, for example, that point right there is negative 2, negative 3. This point up here is negative 2, positive 3. Every single ordered pair on this line contains the same x value, and that's negative 2. Likewise, every point on a horizontal line contains the same y value. Therefore, the equation for horizontal lines is y equals some constant number. So the equation or the line that's graphed in red on this coordinate plane and crosses my y-axis at negative 4. Therefore, the equation for this line is y equals negative 4. Every single point on this line has a y value of negative 4. For example, this point right here is negative 5, negative 4, and you would find that with any other point that's graphed on this line. So let's move on to graphing lines using x and y intercepts. What is an x-intercept? It's where your line crosses your x-axis. What's a y-intercept? It's where your line crosses your y-axis, or really any function or equation, but in this case, we're just talking about lines. So given an equation, we can solve for the x-intercept by substituting 0 for the value of y and solving for x. So I always make my students clap and say, the x-intercept is when y is 0. The x-intercept is when y is 0. If I plug in 0 for y, I'll get my x-intercept. And solve for x, I'll get my x-intercept. Likewise, we can solve for the y-intercept by substituting 0 for the value of x and solving for y. So 0 for the value of x, that's when x is 0. So again, I make my students clap. The y-intercept is when x is 0. So the x-intercept is when y is 0, and the y-intercept is when x is 0. So let's look at number 1. 3x plus 2y equals 6. If I'm solving for my x-intercept, I'm going to replace y with 0. If I replace y with a 0, I'll get 3x plus 2 times 0 equals 6. That's 3x plus 0 equals 6. So really, this entire term goes away, and I'm just left with 3x equals 6. And I'm going to erase that right there, right there, and then let's go back. So now I'm going to solve for x. When I solve for x, I divide both sides by 3, and I get x equals 2. So my x-intercept is 2, 0. And we can graph that on our x-axis. The y-intercept, well, that's when x is 0. So if I replace x with 0, that's 3 times 0, which is 0. That entire term goes away, and I'm left with 2y equals 6. And again, I'm going to erase that right there. And then let's go back. So now if I solve for y, I divide both sides by 2, and I get y equals 3, which means my y-intercept is 0, 3. And then we'll graph that on our coordinate plane, y-intercept, 0, 3. All I need is two points to make a line, and I've got my two points here, so I can connect them. And there's my line. Let's do the same thing on number 2. And I'm going to switch up pins. Let's see, let's do blue. Let's do blue. All right, there we go. So if I'm looking for my x-intercept, again, the x-intercept is when y is 0. If I plug 0 in for y, that entire term goes away. I'm left with x equals 3. Super duper easy. My x-intercept is at 3, 0. Make sure when you write, I encourage my students to write these as ordered pairs because you want to make sure you're writing it correctly. You're writing your x value, then your y value. And then we're graphing it correctly as well. So 3, 0. 
So again, let's erase that part. And let's move on to our y-intercept. So the y-intercept is when x is 0. If I plug in 0 for x, that term goes away, and I'm left with negative 2y equals 3. If I solve for y, by dividing by negative 2, I get y equals negative 3 over 2. Negative 3 over 2, it's just a number. It's not exactly the prettiest number, right? This is an improper fraction. It's just negative 1 and a half or negative 1.5. A lot of students feel very comfortable with decimals. So if I write my y-intercept in decimal form, it's 0, negative 1.5. How do I graph that on my coordinate plane? Here's my y-axis. 0, negative 1.5. It's in between negative 1 and negative 2. I only need two points to form a line, connect those two points, and I've got my line. And that concludes your notes over intercepts, of equa intercepts and equations of vertical and horizontal lines. I hope it was helpful.